Hey Tiny Turtles, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be making a full course, well, I don't know if it's a full course, but like a full lunch box full of food because I bought these little plates a long time ago and I haven't used it once. So today's the day we're finally gonna use it. I thought it was so cute. These are from Timu and I've not been eating the best, I have to say. But today we're gonna change that by making a very mindful, healthy, well-balanced meal that I have created in my head but have never cooked before. So uh, let's just start. But first I need to tie up my hair. Look at the effort. I literally, I don't know. The pajama top seems like I have more, I don't know, seems like I'm more put together, but yeah anyways excuse my hair i'm just gonna put it up like this because i don't care i give up already i tried to look pretty for the video but then um it's not functional okay these sleeves i gotta roll those up let me show you what i bought so yam noodles i'm thinking oden along with some choy sum or nano hana is that like little flowers? Nano, it's like little and flower. Oh, anyways, a little cabbage. <laughs> Isn't it so cute? Hamachi collarbones. It was only like, it was only $9 for both of them. So I was like, mm, well, let's try it. Mm. Some Pietro sesame dressing, sesame and miso dressing. I love Pietro's when they were still open. I have unagi sauce and some miso that I'm gonna marinate the fish in. So let's do the fish first so we can have that marinating and then I need to Google how to cook hamachi collars. I have this bowl and I think it'll be a good size because better go big than go too small and then have to wash another dish, you know? So I'm just gonna dump the little collars in there. I have never made hamachi nor the collars so this is very new to me but I feel like I've been just eating a lot of meat. My auntie doesn't eat fish or any seafood like that so I don't end up eating a lot of seafood period but I really want to start doing that again. I'm starting off with some bonito miso. Do not ask for a recipe because everything is from my own mind. So inside some miso, like a almost a tablespoon, and my secret ingredient, my cheat sauce, unagi sauce. <laughs> I had to open a new one. Yeah, this is gonna be good on the hamachi. I hope. <laughs> Okay, good enough. Here, um, I should have mixed the miso on the collars. Anyway, I'm just gonna mix it all together. Massage all of the sauce into the collars. Make sure the miso is like spread out nice or else you're gonna get a fat piece with miso. You know what I mean? What a wrong outfit to wear because these sleeves I feel like are gonna get messy but that's the sacrifice for good food right we're just gonna massage the little fishies make sure all of the sauce and the miso is in there it should only take about eight to ten minutes in the air fryer at like 390 so ideally I would let that sit overnight but um, I don't have overnight I work tomorrow so I'm just gonna let that go, wash my phalanges. This is gonna marinate in the fridge until we're ready. I'm gonna go ahead and cook like two or three eggs. I could eat two eggs tomorrow with my breakfast. And then with my little choice up, I'm gonna make a little side dish. Just some salted with either perilla oil or sesame oil. Something simple yet healthy. Rough chop it, blanch it, and then we will cut it and then we're gonna season it. And I'm just cutting the stems down like in quarters. Make sure it cooks 
semi-evenly. I like to do put in the stems in the water first, followed by the leaves, just so it cooks more evenly, you know? Debating whether or not I just want to poach the eggs in the oden broth or actually cook it, cook it, because I'm lazy. Um, so I'm not sure. But I have these yam noodles. They're zero calorie, high in fiber, zero cholesterol. So I'm just gonna let it drain and then rinse it because it has a strong like weird taste and you gotta boil it with a bunch of stuff for it to taste pleasant. Now I'm just gonna boil the eggs. I'm gonna let it hang out for like seven minutes-ish. I should have blanched the vegetables before. Oh, that was so dumb. It's okay. Now I'm not really sure. I'm thinking a thousand milliliters of um, you know what? F that. I'm just gonna taste it and hope for the best. <laughs> taste it little by little. It smells good. I'm gonna try. Mm. Pot number two, just gonna eyeball fill it with water. Add our soup. This is one big pot for a little bit of soup, but it's okay. Taste. Almost there, actually. More. Now, these can go straight in and just boil it because it's gonna taste bad if you don't. In the meantime, I'm gonna prepare my little side dish, which is my little ume. Boshi. little pickled plum and that is gonna be the only thing in here it's sweet it's tangy perfect for rice so you know what that means it's rice time so now I could cook rice but my two pots are currently being used so I have that um, freshly microwaved <laughs> so we're just gonna put it in the microwave for 90 seconds so in here goes the soup but we need a salad Space and I'm thinking salad, rice, um, fish, and greens. So, rice is fresh out of the microwave. So, we're just gonna open. Ow, it's burning my fingers. Ow! It's not even the rice that burns, it's the steam. I'm just gonna scoop some. It's really hot. You know what, I'm gonna plate it. So this is ready, I'm gonna plate it up later because I literally never even cooked my fish. Stems in. Should have waited for it to boil, but I'm um, lazy. <laughs> I'm gonna add the collars. Oh, do I have room for both? Hopefully I do. I'll skin side up. Bye-bye, mm. see you in nine, eight, ten minutes. So. Air fryer's going, stoves are going, it's time to make the one thing that I don't have to cook and that is my salad. So I have this little baby organic because we're healthy but it was also cheaper because it was so tiny. Um, a napa cabbage in half. I like to chop it over here and then peel it apart so you still get like kind of full leaves. Uh, I don't know how much salad I want. It's gonna be more like a slaw kind of deal situation. See, I cut half and then just let the rest split organically. I think it makes for better cuts personally. Now I can wash it a little bit better. Wash the cutting board too. In a little, you know. This size is good. Even a little bit thinner would be nice. Soaks up more sauce, you know? <laughs> Where are we putting? Oh, in this one. Stack up that cabbage. Dress it. Because we're bougie, we're gonna add some sesame seeds. Liquid has been squeezed out. Some sesame oil, 
just a little bit of salt. If I had fresh garlic, that would have been amazing in it, but I don't. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna do with what we got, okay? Give it a good mix. Garlic salt. Then you get that garlic flavor, you know? Not too much though. Roll up the sleeve. Just give it a nice mix. This is the best way you can tell if the seasoning is on everything. Okay. Now this goes in here. What is this? What is this? Like the egg yolk is cooking. Um, can you like get out? Let's. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully, no shell on my little egg yolk guy. Collar, aunt. <laughs> Oh well. Noodles, my sukiyaki noodles with a little bit of soup. Oh, den noodles, sorry. There we go. Look at that. I would have had green onions, but um, that wasn't in the budget. Subscribe, so next time it can be in the budget. And then for this last piece, I shall add a little bit of rice because carbs are good too. Accept them, appreciate them, and eat it. So we have our little collar, salad, choisum or whatever, umeboshi, rice, and our little oden that I added some soy sauce to because it was tasting a little bland. So that's why the color is there. Now let's give everything a taste, shall we? So excited, look how pretty. Everything looks so mindful. It's like the aesthetics that I see on Instagram. Plus like, look at this collar. Isn't it look so good? Isn't it look so good? Doesn't it look so good? I don't know, hopefully it don't give me food poisoning because I work tomorrow. What should we try first? I think let's be healthy and go with our little salad. Let's try it. Mm. Yummy. I have some yuzu kosho. It's basically yuzu and chilies. But it's so refreshing. Or not refreshing, but it's like it gives a good freshness, a good spice, a good acidity. And I feel like this hamachi could really use that. I didn't even try the hamachi yet, but I just know. Let's try a little side veggie first. Okay. Moment of truth. Let's just tear it right off of there. Look at how good that looks. Okay, let's try it by itself first. Mm. So buttery. Wow. Good job, me. Good job, internet. But you know, it'd be even better with my Yuzu Kosho. Wow, this amazing. <laughs> like, I don't like to compliment myself that much, especially when it becomes like food, because I had such a big passion for it. I wanted to be a chef when I was younger, and then people just kind of broke that dream. Like, is it actually realistic and stuff? So I have this love of food, and there was a time where I had like a little eating an unhealthy relationship with food and I totally lost that passion but I feel like 
with social media, I can make it a career without having to open my own restaurant or being a restaurateur. I can just still enjoy food without making it like trying. I don't know, that sounds bad, but I'm slowly rekindling my relationship with food. So making little things like this that so mindful, I think makes me really happy. Let's try my little oden with my noodles. I'm so happy and I'm currently in my empty mom's house no couch my sister's been sleeping on the floor I've been sleeping well we've all been sleeping on the floor over here because our beds are gone and having this meal and eating alone like this looking around at everything I've loved this kitchen so much don't get me wrong I like the kitchen at my dad's house but this one made me feel like it has this bar counter thing that I'm sitting on right now that it's like my dream home it's gone too soon I would say we've been here for like five years so shut up Quinn we've been here for a little while but just being here for the past five years and you being able to use this kitchen it's like so pretty good lighting too that's really cool but it's finally only a couple more videos in this house and I wanted to make the most out of it which is why I decided to make this one big meal for myself mindful eating like eating with a purpose too enjoying food savoring food that's something that I also lost when my relationship with food went downhill so it's nice I think to be like quiet and to reflect on the days oh that aren't gonna last very long soon because I start school but I'm enjoying my summer break, making videos, having my two jobs, and starting my little Etsy thing maybe on the side. Love that. So I guess this is where I should leave you. Let me know what your favorite food is. Mine is probably this one. Can you cook? Can you not cook? I want to know. And with that, I'll see you all next time. Bye!